Number 10. Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2. Shortly after the release of the original game on the Dreamcast, an Episode 2 came out. The next year, both episodes were ported to the GameCube and the Xbox. It was enhanced with improved graphics and a split-screen multiplayer mode. Episode 2 was a direct sequel continuing the story in all sense of the word. This is the definitive version of this game cut into two parts. Number 9. Tactics Ogre, The Knight of Lotus Even though I wanted to include it, I had to leave out Ogre Battle 64 in the year 2000 video. That is a great game. The Knight of Lotus was the last one in the saga, and exclusive to the Game Boy Advance. The gameplay seems friendlier and better in some areas, even though it follows the same formula as the original Tactics Ogre. Still with a strong focus in its adult-oriented story and its radical difficulty taking over. Overall, a hidden gem on the system and one of the best JRPGs of 2002. Number 8. Lost Kingdoms This one was developed by From Software, intended to simulate a card battle game with strong RPG elements. You follow the quest of Princess Katia into the world, trying to save her kingdom and rescuing her father, the king. She acquires a runestone which allows her to summon magic creatures spellbound in cards. These battles are played in real time so the point is to move around with Katia, knowing when to summon and when to command your creatures. Lost Kingdoms is a very unique and fun action RPG, among the best of 2002. Number 7. Kingdom Hearts Here is yet another action RPG, one everybody nowadays is quite familiar with. It was the beginning of a strange partnership between Squaresoft and Disney. Your party members were none others than several Disney characters or even some of the Final Fantasy series. An interesting start for such a popular franchise. Number 6. Ark the Lab Finally I get to cover these games again. I've been meaning to since the mid-90s when they all came out. But we never got a single one until Working Designs localized all three of them and their spin-off on the PlayStation in 2002. However, the true spot here goes for the first one in the series, a short, grid-based tactical RPG with an incredibly unique soundtrack, highly underrated and mostly forgotten nowadays. Number 5. Ark the Lad 2 So the next spot goes to the second game also included in that collection. I know, I know, I could have treated separately the games in Final Fantasy Chronicles and Anthology, but I didn't because I covered three of those RPGs there, well, separately before. However, I had no excuse to prevent Ark the Lad 1 and 2 then to have their own spot. Anyway, this one is the direct sequel, with both all the new characters, a longer story, improved battle mechanics, and a variety of missions in between each chapter. Ark the Lad 1 and 2 are the only ones worth it in the collection, as the third one was more quest-driven than anything and honestly, it just wasn't that good. Number 4. Dark Cloud 2 After the success of the first Dark Cloud, Level 5 wasted no time to develop and publish the sequel. Story-wise, however, it's unrelated to its predecessor. Now it follows the adventures of two main characters to save the world. Just like before, there's some town building as well as several other gameplay mechanics. The true core, however, still lies in its dungeon crawling with your characters fighting with a variety of weapons. Dark Cloud 2 is a much better game in every single area than the first entry, 
and without a doubt one of the best action RPGs in 2002. Number 3. Grandia 2 So I already covered this game in the 2000 video, with the original Dreamcast version being the best one. The PS2 title was a lazy port, full of lag and a couple of bugs here and there, but if you can overlook that, you'll find Grandia 2 still an amazing adventure with a great cast of characters, story, music and its very addictive battle system. Number 2. Wild Arms 3 This third entry came as a surprise for fans considering it went back to its strong Wild Wild West elements. Only four main characters were playable here, each with strong convictions and a very deep development. Virginia quickly became one of my favorite female heroines in video games thanks to this game. Music, interface and navigation was fun, just like some of its puzzles. Wild Arms 3 is a great and underrated turn-based RPG from a series that I hope can properly return to us one of these days. Number 1. Suikoden 3 Suikoden 3 is yet another game with four different main characters, each in their own story, missions, party members and areas. How this story played out to intrinsically connect them all was marvelous. This excellent game charms you from the start, offering you a variety in battle lore with three cool systems intertwined. And just like with Virginia, Chris also became a personal favorite in female protagonists. I love this game, man. No other in this list comes even close, so it felt right to crown it as the best JRPG of 2002. This was a year of sequels and spin-offs, and a very good one indeed. Wondering already if the next one's gonna be full of them too? Well, we're gonna have to wait and find out. See you in 2003.